now we got something kind of weird over here. I pretty sure I was just in Pink Street, and suddenly there's an exclamation point over there. The fact that it just popped up means it might be another Yakuza problem, or the the Yakuza apprentice. Is he getting himself in trouble already? Oh, it is. Wow, he does not he does not take breaks. Oh, boss, it's me, Kano, your loyal minion. Ah, uh, Kano, what's up? I got a new source of cash money with real potential. Oh no. Think of it as a side job, what do you say? You want in? Let's hear it. Fine, let's hear the next bad idea. Well, at least Kiryu's on, uh, as, uh, is caught up at this point. Oh right, you're always so optimistic, sir. Are you listening to me? I'm listening. Debt collection. I was hanging out with that Yakuza who ran a badger game on me, and he hooked me up with this gig. His, this debtor is said to be one of the fastest runners alive, so no one's been able to collect on the loan. So if we catch the scum, we'll split the take 80-20. And where is this debtor? See the lady in red behind me? Uh. Yeah, that woman? Yes, that one. But, but what? She wasn't always a woman, I hear. Again? <laughs> Are you saying... Hi. Yep. Apparently she realized she could run faster in a skirt. And the longer she wore one, the more she realized that she was born to wear a skirt all along. Well, that's oddly inspiring, I guess. They call her Godspeed Yoko. I really didn't need all that information. I guess not. Anyway, I say we sneak up on her and jump her at the same time. This is going to go so poorly, but okay. Okay, seriously, the number of like... The number of women that are secretly men or used to be men in this game is actually starting to get weird because they're starting no. they're starting to become all the women. <laughs> they're starting to just be all the women. Huh? I sense a presence. It's a loan shark, isn't it? Oh my god, that Yeah, hey. I, of course she can run faster than a skirt. That makes perfect sense. And high heels, yeah. Crap, she's onto us. Sir, can you go after her? Yeah, I'll just catch up with her with my not at all fast moving speed here. She turned left, right? I don't think she turned left. Alright, well then she's probably that exclamation point that's right there that I don't think was there a second ago. You go to the- oh yeah, she's in the lot. Well, she's gonna be cornered now unless I just let her run past me like I did with some characters in Zero. Uh oh, don't aggro. Hey, Yoko. It's time to pay back the, that money. Huh. Over my dead body. But I'll tell you what. If you knock me to my knees in one minute, I'll pay it all back. Then. What? Mm. But no going all beast mode on me. I'm just a delicate flower of a lady, you know. Wait, so I can't use beast mode? But I like beast mode. <laughs> Not that you can catch me anyway. They call me Godspeed Yoko because I run with the wind and strike like lightning. Wait, is she gonna run away again? No, we're fighting. So this, this, they're, I think they're just afraid of having women be the enemies in this game, so they're always, like, secretly not women. What the heck? There we go. I was trying to grab him, but that works too. You really are fast. Not bad for a man, but you still haven't caught me. <laughs> Come on, Slowpoke. Catch me if you can. Hey, wait. That what is that? <laughs> the animation's incredible. <laughs> She's like doing the, the slowest walk ever, but in like massive fast forward. Ugh. I'll catch her next time. Boss! Wow, you're running in slow motion by contrast. You were like floating. Boss! Hey, Kano. You're pretty slow. I'm sorry. Whatever. Where did Yoko go? She zoomed off towards the champion district. Damn it, she's so fast. I'm sorry, sir. A turtle could run circles around me. But I'm behind you every step of the way. Literally. I was about to say that, and you cut me off by saying it yourself. Damn it. <laughs> Guess I better finish this in the champion district. 
or several districts later, depending on how long they feel like stringing us along with this. Um, the Champion District. That's Theater Square. Tenkaichi Street. N Nakimichi Street. Nakimichi oh, no, Champion District is this, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's over there. I'm gonna slowly remember which place is Champion District after they taught me to go there several times in a row. No! That wasn't really gonna get away around them. You guys are making a very serious mistake right now. Ow. Alright, well now this is why I beast mode a lot. Ow. Ow. Oh, don't taunt me. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Oh, there's the stomp I was trying to do. I came back. Hello. There we go. And I got back into rush mode for the ensuing fight that'll likely happen. Ah, defeated 50 enemies on the street. Thanks for the CP, guys. Feels like everywhere I go, there's somebody somewhere that's in the middle of being uh, mugged. I can, like, hear in the background. Was that a thing on the ground? Yep. Gimme! Orange ladybug. Okay. That's the girl I was talking about that I used in the first game a lot. Am I under attack? Oh my god, I am. They're here too. Hey, Yoko. You need to pay back that money. Oh, I do admire a persistent man, but I'm not giving up just yet. <laughs> Come on. Catch me if you can. Hello. Oh. There we go. Nope. I didn't finish the combo correctly. Aha, you're trapped in the corner. K.O. Fine. You win. To think I lost a race. That's not what that was. Neither of those were races. What do you think races are? Guess this is the end of the road. But you know, I hardly mind paying back someone who's faster than me. Slow your roll. Hey, identical looking Yakuza guys again. Eep! <laughs> Sorry, dude. But she's got a prior engagement with us. She hasn't paid her debts in over six months. We've got you outnumbered, so don't even think about getting cute. Run along now. After what I've been through, if you don't walk away now, you're gonna be too you're gonna be too broken to run later. I finally cornered her. And you come along and try to claim the prize? Get real. <laughs> well, I understand how you feel, but... You gotta learn not to run your mouth, smartass. Really, though? Kiryu, you need a PR manager, because you should really have a reputation by now, and you just don't. Like, a better reputation that stops this from happening at all, basically. Please hit the other guys. Yay! That's what I was going for. And then the head stomp. Then you pick him up. And you grab him from behind. And then we throw him face down. And I pick up this thing that's apparently here. I'm gonna hit you with it now. Here, you get that mysterious syringe now. Congrats. You're gonna need to take a load off after that, because I just stabbed you with a random bloodborne illness, probably. <laughs> that's horrifying. <laughs> Damn, man, I get it. This one's yours. Now I need to go to the hospital and get all of my blood removed and replaced by other blood like Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2 because you just gave me something bad. You think? Seriously, that syringe made things take a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth moves. You were way past cool. Did they... did they really... Oh my god. Did they really put that in the game? They actually put that quote in the game. Was that in was that in the original game? Or because like I think a lot of these quests were in the original game and like they're in verbatim translated or, or, or rewritten back into this thing, but that is a like nowadays that's a quote from a Sonic the Hedgehog fan movie. Like it's not even a real Sonic quote, it's from the fan movie that's on YouTube where it goes way past cool, and I'm like, ugh. 
And then that became the vernacular, that, that joined the vernacular along with chili dogs and whatnot. Which makes sense, because it's a, it's a mission about a character running around constantly, and also it's a Sega game, so like, is this a self-awareness moment? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that to show up. Okay, you caught me. I lose, but... But what? You're gonna drain my entire health bar by revealing that you're a man again? I'll be borrowing some more money soon, so I hope you've come to collect with interest. Wait. We got the Yoko's debt, and also now, now they're hitting on us. That was a weird path to run. <laughs> she thinks this is a game. <laughs> wow, you're so amazing, boss. You were like five minutes late. Cool. We ran down A Street. <laughs> oh, when did you get here? I saw everything. You not only collected her debt, you captured her heart. I get winded even thinking about keeping up with her. You're just awesome all around. Oh, and this is your half. Well, you didn't even help. Oh god, a hundred thousand? Okay. She left this behind too, it's all yours. Why didn't she... Why didn't she give this to me? Steel knuckles, holy crap. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm looking forward to next time, Kiryu-san. And then here's some steel... Here's some steel knuckles to use that time. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, another day, another yen to be made, sir. I'm gonna keep hustling, see you around. This might be why he's so bad at business, is he thinks that making one yen per day is good. This kid complicates my life in ways I can't explain. <laughs> the level of defeat that he- that Kiryu expresses at times is just... classic. Here we go. They managed- they managed- the localization team that handles these games manages to make them amusing in, in a way that's not often common, because so many- so many translated games from Jap Japanese to English are like soulless translations that are just like- it's like factory writing, like it just feels like it's- this is the sentence that functionally expresses what this scene is meant to say, and then nothing- no- no flourishes or little details that are amusing. Quadruple backstep, regain footing, should I get this one first? Charge up. A oh, change up. Right, lets you just it's just another opportunity to really rapidly change states. I might as well grab that. Cause functionally I won't really even fully understand which things are helping me change uh stances mid fight. But just the fact that I want to change stances mid fight, uh having all of them unlocked means that it'll just be easier to change states all the time and I won't have to worry about whether or not I have like the right sub function unlocked or something. What is this one? No way. Again? He shows up, like, around the corner. Oh, boss, it's me! Your ever-loyal minion, Kano! You- I feel like you're manipulating me. Is that what's happening? Hey. You're awfully excited. Again. Well, it's only natural, sir. Didn't you hear? I'm due for a promotion soon. Mm -hmm. You have a job? Yep. A Yakuza officer gave me a real important job. <laughs> Next time you see me, you're gonna be all like, oh damn, Lieutenant Kano, you're looking sharp. This has, you're going to end up dead, written all over it. Oh, my phone. Excuse me a moment, sir. Hello? Yes? Uh, Nakamichi Street? Now as in, like, right now? Yeah, I'll be there immediately. Boss! This is it. Here comes my time to shine. I have to go, so I'll see you later, sir. Mm. What a mess. And why do I get the feeling it's going to be me who has to clean it up? He mentioned Nakamichi Street. Maybe I'll head that direction later and see if he's still alive. That woman is very bright compared to her surroundings. Hello. Nakamichi Street. There we are. Oh, there's a lot going on in that street right now. A lot going on in that street right now. I'm gonna act- I'm gonna accidentally activate the wrong mission, probably. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, and I still need to retract down what's going on with that suit. There we go. I figured something would be in here. D4. Checkmate. Oh no, D4. That made me sad. So, uh, Andrew and I tried to record a game called D4 recently, 
and then uh, his his computer like hard locked and crashed and had to be restarted, and so we lost hours of footage. And I'm like, well, I guess this series is canceled before it started. Shit, because like it was all our blind reactions and stuff like that, and then you lose that when you lose all the footage, and then it's like well, you want to replay the game but not have any genuine reactions to it. Hooray! That 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 will murder the crap out of the let's play. There he is. Cool. Huh? There's Kano. Whatever came of his big job must have gone south if he's sitting here, sitting around here moping. Is that guy supposed to be there, or is he like an RNG crowd character? Oh, he's supposed to be here. I can't even bump into him. Are you supposed to murder this guy? And you're like, unwilling to? Oh my god, I'm sorry. We have to do this real quick. Hello. That traffic cone is huge. Why would it be in the middle of the street like that? Oh my god. Huh? What the? Surprise! Majima-san. Hey, Kiryu-chan. What are you doing here? Ain't it obvious? I was hiding. Just waiting for the day when you would finally lift the cone and expose me. <laughs> then your surprise attack failed. As far as hiding spots go, this is hardly your best one. Yeah. Nah, you got it all wrong. This was perfect. What? You rolled up on me knowing I'd insult you. In other words, this fight is totally consensual. Uh, so that's the logic. Guess I walked right into your trap then. I stood still in that damn so cone for so long, I got all stiff and cold. You better warm me up good, Kiryu John. Can you fit in there? I'm genuinely concerned. I guess it is what it is. I'll beat you so hard, you'll wish you stayed in there. Oh, jeez. Hello. Can I beat you with the cone? Oh my god, I can. Yes. 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 You gave me new props to hit you with. Oh my god. I broke the crap out of it. Ow. 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 Wait, she's- that lady's clapping. It's like, yay! Violence in my streets! I love feeling unsafe in the town I live in. <laughs> yay! Oh, we're already there? I didn't think we were there at all. Well, that went smoothly. Thanks for the cone. You're gonna have to make a new one now, though. I win. Ha! <laughs> you're getting stronger. One step at a time. Won't be too much longer before you're just like your old self. You're not going all out yet, just yet either, are you? <laughs> what fun would that... What fun would be... What fun would beating ya to a pulp be? I like to take it slow when I'm having a good time. I've got some other hiding spots up my sleeve. You're wrong to think that this is over. So wrong. You're really gonna keep doing this. Ah, crap. Lay cramp. This is what happens when you stand in one place for so long. You should have found me sooner, Kiryu-chan. I'm gonna walk this off. See you later. <laughs> Guess I'll have to be careful of more than just giant traffic cones when I'm in the city. Rank E. This is bizarre. Learned Majima sensor? What, is he just on the map now or something? It says I learned it, as in, like, didn't acquire it as my inventory. The giant cone is still here. So that's just a prop I can use against people. That's awesome. I want that. Good. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, boss. Remember that promotion I mentioned? Uh. Yeah. Let me guess. That's not what happened. I just met that Yakuza officer. The big job he was telling me about was a hit. I didn't know I'd have to kill someone just to prove myself. And I don't want to go to jail either. But now that I know about the job, I can't really refuse it. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. And no matter what, I'm going to end up at the bottom of Tokyo Bay. Why well, does he always think he's going to end up in the bay? I hate to ask, sir, but do you think you could come to, to talk to this Yakuza boss and get me off the hook? Please, sir. You're my only hope of survival here. Continually, I find myself asking why anyone wants to be in the Yakuza that doesn't want to be into, into crime, including both of the people on the screen right now, because like, Kiryu is like, oh, like weirdly moral on a regular basis, but, he's, but he wants to be Yakuza, even though he's never like in the Yakuza ever, really. 
Fine, I'll bail you out. Even though I should just let you die, I guess I'd feel bad for a second or two. Take me to this guy. Wow, Kiryu. Th thank you so much, sir. Okay, please follow me. I, I still think this guy's gonna scam us at some point. Like, at some point his act is so ridiculous that I'm waiting for it to reveal that he's using us to profit. This way, sir. You came after all, Kano. Hoy. Uh, yeah. I guess I did. And you're Kazuma Kiryu. Nani. Huh? How do you know my name? <laughs> wow, the legendary Yakuza really has gone soft. Good job, Kano. You're done here. Boy. Kano, you want to explain this? Uh, I I'm so sorry, sir. Boss, this was... It was the only option I had left. I'm really, truly sorry. Figure it out yet? You're the target, Kazuma Kiryu. Well, I guess I was right then. What the hell? Wow, where'd they come from? <laughs> Hard to believe you trust this st sorry street rat, but you've you've sealed your fate now. Guys, there's a motorcycle right next to you. Do you know where that's gonna go? Straight out, straight up your ass. Which is impressive and difficult. It's gonna lead to some really weird body shapes in like a cartoon balloon sort of way. Sir, please forgive me. Please don't think ill of me, boss. Of course I think ill of you. There's no reason to think well of you. You do ex make exclusively bad decisions and constantly screw everyone over around you for your personal gain. <laughs> but then you just a a ask for a pity party while you're doing it. That doesn't make it good. Make your peace and prepare to die, as they say for the 17th time, t 17th time this episode. It's extra true and definitely gonna happen this time. What's up, there's a bike. And swing. Jeez. You get the leftovers. Congrats. It's like a bicycle that is heavier and hits harder. But has the same three phases. So you're extra screwed. Ah, you're too damn tough for your own good. How's that? That doesn't even mean anything. What? No, it's, it's definitely for my own good. How'd a single guy take down all of us? Well, I picked up a giant motorcycle and I beat you all with it until it broke on your bodies. That's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Bye. Like, the bike's brutal enough, but that's a motorcycle breaking on human bodies. Boss. I'm not even angry, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Kano, start talking. Well, I w wasn't lying when I said it was a big job. And I wasn't lying about the hit, either. Except, the target was you, sir. I guess they knew that you'd taken me under your wing. They figured that if they used me as bait, uh, you'd let your guard down and fall into their trap. That only really works if you actually, like, abruptly attack me with my guard down, as a, instead of loudly announcing that you're going to kill me, and then, ki then try to kill me. That's not how traps work. They said if I refuse the job, that they throw you into Tokyo Bay. Hoy. Yep. How'd you know? That's why I brought you here. I know it because you won't stop talking about Tokyo Bay. Did you have enough sense? Did you have enough sense to ask who they were? Aaron boys for the Tojo clan. I didn't ask which family. Hey, for once we actually learned the family of the Yakuza we fight. Of course not. But sir, you're the strongest guy I've ever seen. If it's you who kills me, I can die without regrets. I'm ready, sir. I only request that you murder me gently. We'll make it look like a suicide. You will beg for death. Oh my god. Those are like the most brutal things that have ever been said by Kiryu so far in the last game and a half or whatever you want to call it. I don't need your life. Yeah. But how can I... If you won't take my life, how about my pinky? That should cover things, right? I'll just go get a knife and... Your pinky is worth less to me than your life. Knock it off. But boss... Wow. Then I guess a true Yakuza has a really big heart. Sir, I'm gonna get you... I'm gonna get out of the Yakuza business for good. I've been real, a really stupid kid, haven't I? I just wanted to be a cool guy who couldn't, who could fight with honor and all that. But who am I kidding? I couldn't even live up to being your minion. Although that was kind of fun, if I'm honest. 
This is for you, sir. I want you to have it. Masterwork dagger. Gonna break that. I won this dagger in an online auction. The seller said it's completely authentic samurai weapon. But I don't think I'll need it anymore. Probably for the best. Children shouldn't run with sharp objects. Thank you for everything, sir. I'll never forget all you've done for me until the end of my days. I think the kids finally learned the lesson he needed. Just stay out of Tokyo Bay, all right? Kiryu seems to have a specific fixation on people learning their lesson, because every every time we finish a quest, he specifically talks about whether or not the person involved has learned their lesson yet. Can I? Oh, not quite yet. I can't afford all of them, but I'm almost there. Regain footing when in heat mode back, uh, get back off the ground quickly from being knocked down. But only works in rush mode. Oops. Quadruple quick step. Uh, four consecutive quick steps. Also a rush move. Uh, running uppercut. Deliver a vicious uppercut while running. This can be charged to annihilate the enemy with a crushing attack. So triangle or hold down triangle while running. I, I'm guessing holding just makes the uppercut charge longer and hit harder. The the one issue I have with this with the combat in this game is that I when I'm in the, when I'm actually in a fight, it's actually like really hard to remember the sheer number of moves you've learned over the course of the different upgrades. I I you have to it takes a lot of, like over the course of the entire game, you slowly start incorporating more and more moves while you're going around, but I feel like it's hard to Incorporate all of the moves in. Did I see? Oh, enemies, apparently. That guy, like, warped in. That was weird. I was moving around a little bit because I, I thought I saw a prompt on the screen, but I wasn't sure what it was. Goodbye. He's probably fine. What did I just hear? Okay, so there's nothing in this corner like I thought there was. I just heard Majima make a horrible sound. Majima. Moshi Moshi. Wait. That was oddly terrifying. Like, I heard, like, the ghostly screams of Majima. From beyond the grave. But I don't know where he is. And I also had a brief moment. Yeah, it's reactivating again as I go this way. Is it from over here then? Maybe? I don't think it's the car. Oh, hey, look over here. I'm going to be decked out for my deck building game by the time it's finally time again. I think, I think the look is just for the mugging. Yeah, so there's like a slightly terrifying ghost Majima sound that plays when I'm near him, I guess. I need to figure out where he's hiding. I have no idea where he's hiding. Uh. Wait. Oh, he's literally just hiding around the corner. What? Huh. Okay. I have a lot of free heat right now. Enjoy. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a stick. I thought I was going to pick up the entire air conditioning unit for a second there. I have a long stick. Not necessarily that way, but also maybe, I don't know. Something something hostess. He's probably fine. Oh. Ow. Bad dodge. Bad dodge. Get up. Can't block all of it, apparently. Apparently you eventually stop. Ooh. More face. Oh. Oh, he dodged it. Oh. Nope. Nope. 
There we go. Staying so damn calm even after a surprise attack. That's the Kiryu Chan I know. I thought you were just gonna be watching me. You don't even have a good reason for attacking me out of nowhere like that. What are you whining about? I had to see for myself that uh, what you could do when you weren't expecting shit so t uh, to suddenly hit the fan. That makes no sense. Also, I only knew you to go after you because there was a constant sound of you being in the area and I saw had to seek you out. You're saying I can't let my guard down ever. Exactly. So what sh what should be my next surprise, Kiryu-chan? Oh, he's gone now. Did he use like a smoke bomb to disappear? <laughs> Did we get a new skill? I don't think we even got a new skill that time, did we? Is it you? No, that's, that's the Majima sensor we learned from before. You're able to sense Majima's location when he's in an alleyway of Kamurocho so long as you remain calm. Huh. Yeah, so he'll just show up and that'll happen, apparently. <laughs> now we know. Is there another one down here? Heat of the Dragon. Triangle during heat mode, we have to reach, reach, ink, uh... Reach rank E, then defeat Slugger Majima. So just defeat him one more time, basically, right? We're already in rank E. I can buy that skill now. Faint punch. Uh, catch an enemy off guard with a straight punch to the body. R1, then back on L, then press triangle. That, yeah, that, that's one of the examples of, like, uh, one of the moves that's a little harder to remember in the, in the moment between the three stances. So I believe I've maxed out all of the three point skills. Yep, so now from here on out I only have to open the skill tree either when we have, we're we reading what a new skill is in dragon mode or I hit 10 experience. There we go. And we've also unlocked new forms of Majima and I get a key. We're having a great time. Non-stop progress. There we go. Now I can cheat at another gambling game I probably won't actually play.